So now what we do, when we go into our discipline, we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to show you how to just, I'm gonna nuke everything except for one of the common disciplines here. Then again, I might wanna keep something, but oh well. There we go, we just stripped it down. and I'm gonna assign this to my mod. I'm gonna make a new group here. So I go into NDG, go blah. I'm gonna change that to my mod. And I could set, I could set the number of experience points for that, but uh, I'm not assigning it to anything yet. Um, so this is a uh, uh, dis discipline. This is a dis target. I'm just going to call it dis target, and it has the my target icon assigned to it, and it's going to use the dis uh, the discipline target from from the JavaScript here, I'm going to create another one here. Another discipline. I'm going to have another one for self. That's going to be part of my mod, and then another one for area. And it, that's going to have the self icon. It's going to use the self script, the discipline self script. And then we got the area here. So discipline area script. Area. So there we go. We got a we got our three disciplines done. So actually we also also gotta fix up the target. I'm gonna remove some of these elements here. Whoops. So a targeter is going to go after it's going to go after enemy and friendly. An area needs to have this flag, so um, the area script needs to be changed. So let's change that to O2 and this is on self, so that has to have an O1 flag on it, otherwise the script won't work. Alright, so that's the bare bone basics of that, getting that in there. And we gotta make sure that this is right. My mod icon. Does that exist per se? My mod icon tab. There we go. Yep. So there's that. So now let's get the scripts uh, finished up. So I'm just going to I'm just going to create a uh, a console command here. I'm not doing anything fancy, but I'm just giving you an idea. I'm just going to print this to the caster. Actually, let's go caster good, and it's going to be local to that caster. And that's the self discipline was cast. Casted. Yeah. And I'm going to do something like that with the target. Target discipline was cast. And area discipline was cast. And let's throw in uh, position as well for that. Position X append with X Y.
that'll that'll give us some debug information about the XYZ how that looks so now that we got these scripts fixed up and we got them printing console commands to indicate that they're doing something um, we can go in and extract the scripts so what we want here is we want uh, oops kinda got caught in the midst of all this didn't it and discipline target and discipline area so we want just those three disciplines there so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna copy those and put them in my mod codex folder and there we go that should be enough to get a discipline working in the game well, we may have to knob this again let's uh, remove this knob here and let's knob uh, these two that way the UI can be uh, detected alright so let's uh, let's test out our mod and see what that looks like alright so I'm gonna go into multiplayer LAN uh, let me delete this old character and I'll recreate a new one and it's just kind of there we go since uh, I didn't put any limitations on this to make it to where Kitev can't get it, um, it appears automatically on the list for the Kitev clan, or the clan list, I should say. So let's uh, let's go in game and uh, test these out. convenience um, I would recommend uh, enabling console and to activate console press the tilde key and that'll create this uh, black box this black rectangle up on the top of the screen um, uh, the command uh, I would use is add all disciplines and I just put five in there and max it out and what that did was it that just gave me all the disciplines at level five that exists within my mod. Since I deleted all the other disciplines, I only have three disciplines in the entire mod. So the common and all those, they, they don't appear now because uh, I uh, removed them. So notice that our icon shows up now. It's a little misaligned, so when you kind of select something, it doesn't quite look, uh, doesn't like quite look matched like the rest of the stuff does. So when we take a uh, discipline, we uh, right-click on it. There, self-discipline was cast, so it detected that. Um, so we need a target for the uh, target discipline to work. Let's take a look here. And there we go. The target discipline works. Now let's try an area. Now area, we put some additional stuff in for the console. So when we click on area, we'll get the uh, we'll get the coordinate information so there we go we get the position X Y and Z out of that when we click on another position we get X Y Z every time we uh, cast it and notice when you highlight over the explanation the explanation for the discipline is kind of uh, gimped so you see uh, only uh, what the discipline appears in the NDD file to change that, we need to create a string, and I'll cover that in a later tutorial in uh, brushing up our mod, and I'll also cover um, having a discipline applied to a specific plan, so that uh, so that uh, you don't have to play kite if every time to get a discipline to appear. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'll cover more in the next tutorial on polishing up your mod. Over and out.